Bob Boros, and this is my Jazz and Tap Dance Life. I'm here on Monday, September 16th, 2019. Normally on Mondays, I do my Monday Matic series where I demonstrate one of the technique exercises of Matt Maddox, one of the legends of jazz dance. Unfortunately, I went to make my video today and had a camera, or I'm sorry, a battery problem in the camera and um, just couldn't resolve that. So I'm going to do that on Wednesday. So we'll actually get the Monday Maddox on Wednesday this week, but it will be there. Um, but I wanted to do now is, first of all, let you know um, I'm doing this as a live broadcast um, using a uh, software package called StreamYard. Um, very easy to use, and I can just put up something and go live and have it look great. As you can see, I'm very happy with it. Um, this will also allow me to do interviews. So within the next two to three weeks, I will be starting to do interviews with uh, top people in the field of jazz dance. So it'll look just like an interview screen on um, that you normally see on television with two heads talking or three heads talking. And to be able to talk live about jazz dance and go back and forth and get that information out to the jazz dance community, I think is going to be just a, a big thing, a big thing for us and something that we all need just to share information in a very timely format. So um, keep your eyes open for that. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel and click to the notifications bell. And that way you'll always get a notifications when I have a new video or when we go live with these um, interviews that I'm working on. Uh, but for now, what I do want to talk about, as long as we're here, um, I have done a lot of writing on jazz dance over the years, and mostly they were public. My writings have been published in um, academic journals or in trade publications like Dance Teacher, Dance Magazine, and if anybody remembers, a while ago there was a newspaper that was um, delivered in the mail to dance studios called Dancer. Um, by Owen, Go Go Owen Goldman, and um, he was in Florida. And so all of the writings that I did over that time period are now in a book format. And I've just collated all of these. I'm trying to get it so you can see it. And yes, it does say proof. This is the only copy I have. I don't have a clean copy right now. But this is called Bob Boros, and this is called Comments on Jazz Dance. 1996 to 2014. So these are my thoughts, my interviews, and my publications on jazz dance during that time period all compiled into one book. So I'm just going to read a little bit from the back um, to, to give you an idea. Uh, with comments on jazz dance, Bob has compiled his writings into one volume covering luminaries like Jack Cole. So there's a big section with my research on Jack Cole, some information you may not have seen in anything that's out there now written about him. Um, Bob Fosse. That was actually an interview I did with Chet Walker prior to his developing the Fosse show that became so big in 1999 and in 2000. So this is when he was putting it together. So it's kind of interesting to get his um, thoughts on what his process was and what his desire was with the upcoming Fosse show. Um, Matt Maddox, certainly I have a very big section on Matt. He's my mentor. Frank Hatchett. Um, and Frank was a good friend of mine, and I've got a big section on Frank. Michael Owens. Uh, many of you might remember Michael Owens. He's probably one of the top theater dance teachers ever in New York City and Los Angeles. Um, Lynn Simonson, another well-known um, top jazz dance uh, teacher and choreographer. Um, Donald McHale. I was very fortunate to um, interview Donald McHale about the beginnings of jazz dance. You know, how did it start? How did it start in New York? Who were the people who were pushing it? And I have all of his thoughts in an article there. Eugene Loring, who is known as a ballet choreographer, but actually when he started his American School of Dance in Los Angeles in 1946, he developed a new training style that he called freestyle. And he mixed aspects of ballet, modern, and jazz dance and other forms and put it into one decidedly what he called democratic American class. So it didn't come from one specific area, but it was a blending of many areas. And that freestyle idea eventually is where Matt Maddox picked up on it and developed his own personal view of freestyle dance. Um, Danny Berichesky, who had his jazz dance company here in, the, I guess it started in the 1980s, all the way through the 1990s into the 2000s. Billy Sigenfeld from Jump Rhythm Jazz Project. Graziella Danielle, who was um, a very well-known Broadway director and choreographer. Um, her thoughts on jazz dance, and she talks about what people need to do to properly put themselves within the field. You know, what is the proper way to think? What is your mindset? Um, we go into Paul Draper, who was actually a tap dancer, 
but he's an amazing person and I have a very particular idea about him. I also discuss idea, my own personal ideas of jazz dance history, philosophy on jazz dance, aesthetics, and my personal choreographic choices. Um, one big show that I did was called Empty Sky, The Rising. It was based on 9-11 using music by Bruce Springsteen from his CD, The Rising. Um, there were many very particular choreographic ideas and uh, directives that I used during that um, big performance. And so I have a big article here that explains how I created different ways of using music in a jazz dance format. So comments on jazz dance is a must read for anyone who create who craves a deeper understanding of the jazz dance genre. So I would suggest that you take a look at this book and pick it up. Um, you can get this on Amazon in the paperback format, and there will be a link directly to Amazon in the description section um, of this video on YouTube. Also, you can go to my personal website and there is a chapter on publications. And from there, you can get a link to the Amazon for the paperback. Also is the link to buy this for um, use on your iPad, right? You go to the iBook store and there it's only $3.99. So that's a tremendous amount of information for a very low price. So you'll find all of that information in the description part of this video. So I hope you check out um, this book. Either way, this is something you should have and it's a tremendous amount of information. Um, and if you're a jazz dance person, you'll wanna know this about the uh, great people in jazz dance. Um, so I think that's it. So uh, my name is Bob Boros and this is my jazz and tap dance life. Um, I wanna thank you for you, it's in building every day, three to five new subscribers. I think right now we're at 1,640 or just above, and that's just tremendous. So the interest is there. Um, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and also click that notifications bell so that you'll receive a notification um, every time I put on a new video or every time we go live. So you always want to be in contact with um with the YouTube channel. So I think that's it for this broadcast. Um, as I said, we had a problem with Monday Maddox, so I'll get that up to you on Wednesday. And for now, I'm Bob Boros. This is my Jazz and Tap Dance Life. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon in the next video.